Hello everybody and a very Merry Christmas to each and every one of you for, uh, well, for yesterday if you're watching this uh, the day it comes out. Uh, yes, it's another Christmas special. Uh, two years ago we created this, my Deadly Sleigh, um, which did alright. I mean, it's not the most ideal air-to-air -air combat vehicle, but uh, did surprisingly well in the dogfight. Um, a year later I created this, the upgraded version, more powerful, more manoeuvrable, more weapons and... Um, yeah, it did even better in combat, but this year, this year we're, uh, we're doing something completely different. So we, uh, we, we don't need this at all. So, uh, well, I, I suppose there's only one thing to do with it, really, isn't there? Come to think of it, I could have just landed it. Um... Oh, well, never mind. Um, yes, so what are we doing this year? Well, this year, our efforts focus around this. Yeah. Okay, it's a bit underwhelming at the moment, but uh, let me explain. Um, actually, better than that, let me demonstrate. I am going to get this thing up into the air, and um, yeah, I'll see you again in a second, and we'll see what this thing can do. So we've done the whole uh, the sleigh thing in for uh, two years in a row, so I wanted to do something different this year. So uh, I wanted something along the themes of, you know, dropping presents, of course, deadly presents upon our enemies. Uh, in a previous special, I've already made the joke about, you know, dropping presents, and it turns out it's heavy ordnance. Um, so this year I did want to do something a little bit different, and, you know, I think a, an aircraft like this is kind of the modern-day equivalent of, you know, Santa's sleigh, although obviously without the... Uh, the household rooftop landing capabilities, although I'm sure it'll be fun to try. So what do we have? What are we going to drop out of this thing here? Well, let's just open up the cargo bay there. The, uh, the craft takes a bit of a wobble. And in the cargo bay there, we have four of my uh, slightly adapted Wasp fighters. Uh, they were the smallest fighters uh, I think I've ever made. 29... they were 32 parts... 33 parts apiece? I can't remember. They're now 29 parts apiece. I had to uh, take off the uh, the, the um, wing edge missile pylons and missiles. So yeah, and if I let's bring up the vessel switcher. Let's just show you what happens. I have a series of um, series of uh, action groups. So just three, four, five, and six. Ah, uh, that one tends to be a little bit problematic. I thought I'd fix that. Evidently, I have not. Um, it doesn't seem to have been too badly damaged. Maybe that needs a bit of tweaking. But, yeah. Now we have deployed four small fighters, ready to do our bidding and crush our enemies. Um, although, not many enemies. They're not really geared up for it. Um, I suppose one thing we could do, just for a little bit of a demonstration... Oh, yeah, okay. This is still... <laughs> This is still set up with all the defaults, so it's going to try and uh, try and drop to uh, a slightly more sensible altitude for uh, for dogfighting, even though it's a heavy aircraft. Uh, I think I'm just going to switch teams, and we'll see uh, see how this thing gets on <laughs> up against up against four of my wasp fighters. I'm not sure it's going to go too well for it. It's quite a way away. Yep, we're already launching missiles. And I'm not sure it's going to do, do too well at evading them. That's kind of survived that. No, really. Really didn't survive that. And here comes the gunfire. Okay, lovely stuff. A little bit of a demonstration um, as to what this thing is and what it can do. Now we've just got to... Uh, just got to go and chuck it into a couple of scenarios, I guess. So we're on our way to the KSC to deliver presents, but I think they're on the naughty list this year because they don't seem that keen to receive them. In fact, they've set up a, um, a service-to-air missile unit and a goalkeeper cannon unit as sort of a, a little welcome party. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to within... Just so the craft... This, uh, this our little, um, little Christmas aircraft, carrier aircraft, is within about aircraft... aircraft carrier... Aircraft carrier carrier? No, not that last one. Anyway, yes, it's just about to get within range of these um, of these weapons, and then we'll uh, we'll release our little units. I've set them up for ground attack. I don't know how the uh, how the new BD Armory AI 
does with ground attack. I mean, I knew it was a bit of a shambles before the uh, the overhaul. Um, but we'll have to see how they get on here. I'm going to just, uh, within 10 kilometres, I'm going to start opening the cargo bay. Oh, I fixed the problem with this, uh, with the last, um, the last wasp not deploying. You'll notice that the cold glare craft's a little longer now. And yeah, it got into development hell, one of those uh, KSP moments where you just you fix one problem and another one emerges and you just have to spend a couple of hours just trying to get the damn thing working. How are we doing? Seven, that's getting a little bit risky at this range. I think we're going to go there and I've discovered my new favourite way to deploy these visually is just to look from in here. So one away, two away, three away four away and they will go and attack and oh straight away they're going for it straight away we'll just circle up here these guys they don't seem too fussed at the moment I think they've all gone for the goalkeeper unit I think I think yeah this goalkeeper unit is not gonna have a very happy Christmas I think I should have set them up for one missile per target. Yeah, didn't even have a chance to respond, really. Oh, wow. It's a lot of missiles. Did they leave any? I did set up for one missile per target, but no, they appear to have... Um, they appear to have launched them all at... Uh, I did set them up for one missile per target, didn't I? Yes. They appear to have launched them all at the... Um, appear to have launched them all at the goalkeeper cannon. My God, that's a mess. And of course, oh, now it's time for uh, the revenge of the, um, the revenge of the ground-based units. Uh, they do have chaff, so I'm hoping they'll be. Um... Oh, that didn't sound too good. Oh dear. Oh dear, Catrim Kerman. Yeah, it turns out, despite my uh, best laid plans, they're not really equipped to take out two units. <laughs> They use up all their missiles on just the one. Hey ho, ouch. Where is Catrim Kerman? Ah, uh, Catrim Kerman is 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 no longer with us. Hmm, F in chat, please. Uh, okay, so they're not brilliant at uh, avoiding missiles either. Oh! One of the craft does get a uh, decent attack run, but um, yeah, that's that's not looking too good for you. Oh, disappears from the vessel switcher straight away. <laughs> Debris raining all around. Um, now the uh, now our little uh, service to missile unit picks a new target, and I don't think I don't think he's going to have a good time vid either. I did quite like the idea of dropping presents, which then drop presents. Obviously, you know, in the forms of uh, in the form of hellfire missiles. In this case, oh dear, Area Doc Kerman, save me, Tedmon Kerman. You're my only hope. Oh no! Oh no! They're going after the carrier. Turning guard mode on, because then it will. Oh, there we go. It's a hit! It's a hit. I think it knocked out a couple of missiles. Oh my word. There, There is hope. I think this could go on for a while. I think this has now been distracted thoroughly by the, by our little carrier there. So I think I'll... Um, I'll call it a day there. I don't think... I don't think we're going to get a resolution to this one. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like the... Uh, looks like the, uh, the ground attack AI is working properly now. Um... And we've delivered our presence to the KSC, so uh, let's see where's next on our list. And so we set off for our second stop, this time delivering some presents to some um, equally reluctant people over on the KSC island, whose, um, whose welcome party this time consists of all three of my main current three fighters, um, at least one of which is kind of going to have to be replaced at some point soon. They, uh, these, these other two are showing their age, but the, the Red Hawk will do a very good job of leading the line. Uh, as for the our little airborne aircraft carrier itself, I switch it over to the, uh, so that the Wasps are the uh, the air-to-air -air combat version. I've, I've wanted to do an airborne, um, 
an airborne aircraft carrier video for quite a while actually. I just, um, screaming baby and all that, but I will have to do one which isn't just me arsing around because it's Christmas. Uh, how are we doing? 13 kilometers. Now these guys should take off once we are within um, 10 kilometers or so. We're getting quite close. I think we're going to need to open the uh, open the old cargo bay. Maybe put a bit more power into the engines because that does increase the drag quite a lot. How are we doing? I am going to wait until uh, my opponents start to take off. Be interesting to see how this one goes because the uh, the aircraft on the ground are obviously m much better than the wasps, uh, particularly given that they are missing two missiles over their regular versions. Um. How are these guys doing? Any second now, 9,800 they should kick off. Um, but of course the wasps will have the benefit of an extra craft, so... Back to the to the Christmas carrier, our opponents are taking off, so I suppose... Uh, I, don't know. I don't want to give my own craft too much of an unfair advantage. Um, but obviously I don't want to be blown out of the sky instantly either. Oh, Christ, he's starting now. Oh, I dropped those quite close together. Please don't hit each other. Right. You need to... Uh, yes, and I will... Um, yeah, I'll close the cargo bay because that'll help with the aerodynamics. Uh, I will get you to start evading as well. I'll put guard mode on because that means that uh, you'll also um, you'll start popping countermeasures if needs be. How are we doing? Comes around, gets a lock. Seems reluctant to fire. Is it a range issue? Oh no. Well, one of Rowena's um, wingman that does list, let loose with the missile, as does Rowena Kerman in the end. And now she has one of the uh, defensive craft in her sights, it's the club tail. She uh, doesn't manage to get hit with the guns though, comes around. I think everybody so far is still looking in good health. Ted Kerman, he has a sidewinder. He launches it, The, uh, the that's the panther. The panther goes with a cloud of chaff for some bizarre reason and then the, uh, and then the flares. The flares much more effective now. So, uh, yeah, the uh, the Sidewinder's not the guaranteed kill they once were, which is kind of bad news for the Wasps, in a way. But Tedmon Kerman closing the gap here. The craft is a little unstable. These have not really been tuned. When I say not really, they, they haven't been. Uh, but can he line up a decent shot? Uh, what's he doing at the moment? Still engaging. I was wondering if he was breaking off to try and gain some more altitude. Oh, that looks like the perfect opportunity. He pulls the shot over to one side. Something's gone on. One of the wasps. One of the wasps has been blown out of the sky. It's disappeared off the uh, vessel mover completely. And that means that, um, once again, for the second scenario, it's looking like it might be bad news for, the, uh, for our little... Little Santa's helpers. Rowena Kerman coming about. That was... That's some debris. One of our vehicles is not in quite as good a nick as it once was. Oh no. It was our carrier craft. Our carrier craft has taken a hit. It's lost quite a lot of control surfaces. Half of its tailplane. Still just about able to uh, to maintain some control though. They just they just cannot hit them. They cannot hit them. How's the fuel situation doing? The wasps are doing all right. The wasps are doing the oh no. I must say the wasps are doing the better of the the two teams, but one of them has been. When did that happen? I did not see that. One of them has gone into the sea. It's it's three against two. So it wasn't wasn't the result wasn't the result our little um our little elves were hoping for last time, and it doesn't look like it's going to be the uh, the result they were hoping for this time either. Richmond Kerman, I'm not sure what this new version of BD Army has done to the tuning, but Richmond Kerman really struggling to line up a shot here.
Oh no, that was the carrier. The carrier's gone. Oh no, the carrier's gone. But uh, then again, yeah, some of these craft on borrowed time at the moment. Rich Kerman tries to come hard about, but just can't. These wasps are just too squirrely. Tries to come back around into the action. I'm not sure what's going on with this craft. I need to take a look at the uh, the tuning and the setup of this. There we go. The Red Hawk has run out of fuel. These little wasps have given it a run around for so long. Been completely unable to hit it. Now might be a chance actually for the wasps to come in and um, try and kill it. Comes hard about, just about manages to avoid some gunfire. That is looking very dangerous. Oh! Panther is like centimeters away from actually getting a decent hit there. Will the Panther manage to line up a shot? Is the, uh, is the wasp going to be too squirrely? It is. Panther has to break off. No! Determined to try and finish this little bugger off before it runs out. It too runs out of fuel. Rowena Kerman just proving to be that little bit too elusive. Oh! You have got to kill from there! And he has! It's bad news for the defensive fighters. If they can't get those two remaining kills soon, it's going to be all over anyway. The wasps just... you just cannot hit them. I mean, they can't hit you, but <laughs> they seem to have a bit more stamina <laughs> in them than my other craft. Daffy Kerman comes about. It's got to be now or never, Daffy. It's got to be now or never. Line up that shot. Doesn't seem to want to do it. What is going on with this version of BD Armory? There goes the fuel! And it is just the Panther left. And Shawnee Kerman runs out of fuel as well. It is a default victory for our wasps. Oh no. <laughs> They've run out of fuel. Yeah, everybody's out of fuel. These are terrible, terrible craft. But you just, you just cannot hit them. <laughs> oh dear, I need, I need, as I said, I need to do another, um, another airborne aircraft carrier video with some better craft that <laughs> stand a chance of either hitting or being hit. Um, so sorry, sorry to the slight for the slightly anticlimactic ending there. But uh, to be quite honest, with the screaming baby, it's a miracle I managed to get this video out at all. Um, that said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. A very merry Christmas to uh, one and all of you, uh, or however you celebrate this time of year uh, in your own household. Um, I will be back soon with some more stuff. Hopefully some more uh, Kerbal Space Program before too long. Uh, the streams will be, of course, be um, be a regular thing. But the uh, the ordinary videos, hopefully they'll return before too long as well. So uh, as Catherine Kerman just glides slowly into the ocean. Yeah, it only remains for me to say. Um, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you fancy it, there's the Patreon patreon there's the paypal if you fancy helping to support the channel uh but uh, apart from that for now thanks for watching take care and i'll see you next time